Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Clouds are gathering again. That's brilliant. The soil is wet. The days are warm. Things are growing. And uh, I'm fighting a battle with the chickens because uh, this makeshift chicken run is not running the way it should be. Um, they get out, they focus in one area. So I made another quick plan here in the chicken house. one broody chick one broody hen some more eggs I have to take out and then some <clears throat> sand and ashes for them to bathe the others I had to catch one by one put them in a bag and then carry to them to the chicken tunnel I've made. I then decided these chickens must work. Same as the dogs. Same as me and the farmer's wife. If you're a mammal, or if you're alive, <laughs> you have to work. Now, I took some... Uh, of this concrete reinforcement, this mesh folded and then at the lower part I put some chicken wire so I can imagine them going home tonight and uh, that will be the easy part, but to get them here every day, that's the difficult part. I'm also looking forward to see what they can do. Can they just trample? Can they eat? Can they destroy? Can they scratch? Can they plow? We will see. There's a lot of plowing to be done here, scratching cleaning, eating. I have done this one where the potatoes are now planted. But there's a lot of work more and then uh, we have to bring the hay and mulch everything here. Big job. A lot of work on the farm, never ending, but that's why we are here. The side to the north, some blue patches. To the south, it's quite dark. You stay in here, okay? I'll be back. Another project I started is to take some of the grasses I have here and then divide them with one hand. Okay, I had to use some violence. So they actually come out neatly. No, you go away. I'm struggling already. And uh, it's so nice to separate them. And then I have learned watershed areas also mean 
water flow areas and uh, this is a water flow area with the water shed on two sides so then I opened it here and I planted it in this area I just gave them a haircut and uh, this can be done I have lots of examples that I can harvest all over the place here I'm not too sure what this grass is but uh, they're doing a great job in the area where they are this is where we have removed the Hara brush actually nothing grew where they were except some uh, smallish plants because it was the dead of winter and uh, perhaps some new plants will come but uh, uh, looks like autumn is the main growth area I've also put some hay here and stones I'd, because again it's a watershed water coming from there coming from here and this is a water flow and uh, I will plant some more here in this area several places it's like an implant of hair not that I need it but uh, this is what it looks like there are already several grasses here so I will just keep the line diagonally with the flow and uh, build up some grass, leaky weirs, whatever it can be called to slow down the flow and to keep the water on the land I've spent three days with the wheelbarrow pushing this heavy hay bales, wet ones to where I wanted, where I will need them before this rain shows up and here it's raining now great so a lot of grass a lot of example a lot of lessons from nature how to do it I'm happy to continue this area because this is an area between the two watersheds this is where the water flows it also facilitates the absorption of a lot of water which I like so the hay is now ready to be used as mulch what I do is I just clear this 20 centimeter middle section uh, follow the drip line and what I remove I just put on the side and then I mulch on top of it it is one way to find out what I have we have placed many many um, cuttings many many seeds in here I have to see what's growing so that I don't cover it with mulch to give it a chance to get some light okay hopefully the next rain is here till next time goodbye